Hi everyone. I want to talk about heat lamps a little bit. We're getting in this we're getting in the spring out of winter and people are getting new chicks, getting uh, baby lambs are being born, baby uh, kid goats are being born. And so the temperatures are still kind of cool like in the upper 30s, low 30s um, and that's kind of hard on livestock. And so what people a lot of times do and have done in the past is use a heat lamp and with a heat bulb. And I want to talk about this a little bit because our family has some experience with the dangers of heat lamps. So I get it when you've got young, uh, young chicks or, you know, baby lambs or baby pigs or something like that and you want to keep them warm. But I tell you what, there has been so many barns burnt down with heat lamps. It's unbelievable. Um, we personally have had a fire in one of our buildings and thankfully it didn't burn the total building down, but it did a, a, an immense amount of damage. I know other personal friends that have had their, their timber frame barns burnt down just because a heat lamp with one of these heat bulbs, uh, got knocked down by an animal and then it got in the straw or it got to touching, um, the, the heat lamp bulb. So it's not so much what it touches, it's the heat these heat lamp bulbs throw off. And I should have just um, fired one up and used my thermometer on it to see how much just to tell you. But these are like, are like hundreds of degrees. And so when a heat lamp falls, an animal drops a heat lamp, which I got this and disassembled, but they're going to be like this. And that thing hits the ground and even lays on a piece of wood like this right here, it will catch this wood on fire and it will burn your barn down. And so I just want to give a really um, heartfelt admonition and, and it just encourage you to think long and hard about your use of heat lamps. And if you're going to use a heat lamp, I want to give you some heat lamp safety tips just to consider. So these bulbs do put off a lot of heat. We do use them, but I've gotten to the practice where um, when I'm using a heat lamp, a lot of times you can get them with these bases on them like this with the squeeze thing on the end and people will take and latch them onto a board like that and that might work if you just have chicks or something like that below it uh, for a while but if you're going to do anything like with um, lambs or goats or baby pigs or anything of that nature where a, uh, a bigger animal uh, may hit that thing and knock it off I would not advise doing that. I would really recommend that you take and use, you can latch it on if you want to, like this on the side, but still go ahead and fasten it up. Secure it up to something above. Do the double due diligence of attaching it twice or don't even use these clips. I, I just, it just scares me to death, um, the outcome of what we've seen. Now, sometimes, you know, you can use a regular light bulb like this for a little bit of heat. It's not going to give off much. One of these LEDs aren't going to give off any heat. Um, and so I do use these like when our temperatures are warming up a little bit warmer and I just need a little bit of heat. I'll go ahead and use a regular light bulb. Um, but still, I secure this. Use this right here. What I've got to doing is, this is an old chain, but get an old, a, a section of chain. Get one of these quick snaps. Go ahead and just snap on to this and secure it and then take that chain up and fasten it to a beam um, if you got to run a two by four across in your pen to fasten up go ahead and take the time um, to use a chain use something solid there again don't use something that's feet uh, you know that is maybe a string or something like that use twine like I've used twine something that will take the amount of abuse if an animal hits that thing and then things move around and they don't fall because I'll tell you what when you have one of these hit the ground and especially if you got straw or wood shavings in your bed you know for bedding those things are so volatile to just ignite it won't take long at all with with uh, one of these heat lamps and the amount of heat they put out so that's the um that's the warning I want to give on heat lamps um in the past you know, what I would really recommend, and in, in, in the past, what farmers did is they didn't start their chicks out till the warm, warmer temperatures. Or they would have a hen that they would sit under, and the hen would keep them warm. Um, 
Same way with lambing. Move your lambing season till later in the spring or early summer. Move your calving season or even uh, with our pigs. I try to farrow if I can in the summertime when they're out on pasture and I don't even have to worry about heat lamps. Um, and that, you know, that, that just goes along with your management, your farm management. If you can do that, I would really highly recommend it. Another thing that we've learned to do is you can buy these um, pet heating mats um, and they plug in to 110 and they just heat up a mat and we like that. That's another really good safe option. Um, don't use that a lot, but we have used that option. And so I would recommend that. Um, and uh, and just secure your heat lamp. If you're going to use them, secure them up. But I would really recommend just move your lambing season, move your calving season, um, all that, you know, your farrowing to where it's summertime and it's warm, and they will get along fine. I mean, they will they will farrow their pigs out on pasture, and you, it is so less stressful. It is so much less stressful to have your, your sheep have their lambs on pasture. Yeah, you need to check them regularly. Uh, same way with your cows. Check them regularly uh, just to make sure they're not having any problems. But I'll tell you what, our death rate when we calve uh, in the spring, you know, late spring, early summer, we don't lose like any calves. I've dropped calves. I've had calves that got pregnant uh, or cows that got pregnant and they dropped calves in the middle of winter and it is like, it, it's such a challenge. Um, and so, so that's just my word of advice. Um, hope you're all doing well. And until we have the next video, go ahead and like this video if, it, if, if uh, you find it beneficial. Maybe you have other suggestions on how to, um, you know, heat uh, or, or safety measures to you for, use for heat lamps. Um, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And if you would, go ahead and click the like button. All right, until next time.